Hello, my name is Digor, and this is my second video I created for my students so they can easily understand those objects from their workbook. But uh, I hope it is also a good practice for Tinkercad because I recorded the full process from the design to the 3D printing. Here you can see the timestamp next to each object so you can jump to any part of the vid video you would like to see. And um, let's start with the first one. And I'm starting with the box. And I will add another box which will be the whole shape. And I'm automatically auto aligning these two objects. After combination the middle part is cut. And then I'm adding a wedge. And I make a copy. Of course they will be a whole type of the shape. Changing the size. And after combination, my object is finished. This is the front view. This is the view from the right side. This is the view from the left side. And this is the top view. The printing took about one hour and this is how it looked like in real life. The second object I also started with the box and here I will add another box. Uh, basically this object is this very similar like previous one and only I have to cut the wedge from two sides but uh, on one side it starts from the bottom of the object and on the other side it starts from the top of the bottom box. There will be a whole shapes and after combination my, our object is finished. This is how it looks like in the front view. This is the right side of the object. This is the left side of the object. And this is view from the top. Here you can see that shape on the right side from the top view until the bottom. And this object is very easy to 3D print. And this is how it looks like the final object. Third object. First I uh, created two box. I am making a copy and rotating in 90 degrees. And then I am adding the first wedge on the right side. And I'm making a copy. And I am adding the wedge on the other side which is a little bit smaller and it starts from the boxes. And after combination, this object is finished too. This is the front view. This is view from the right side. Here we, I added those hidden lines. This is view from the left side. Also those hidden lines are visible here. And this is the top view. Time lapse for 3D printing and this is the final object. Fourth object, I started with the cube and then later I will subtract this wedge. This is why I select it as a whole shape. After automatic align and combination, we have this sub object and I am adding now in the middle of that box after automatic align and combination our object is almost finished only I have to cut that wedge on back part of this object and here it is this is the front view this is view from the right side view from the left side 
and this is you from the top I added here that hidden line this is preview of the printing it is very interesting that uh, that shape on the back side will be created with the overhang And this is the final object. Fifth object. I am starting with the cube again. And first I will cut subtract that middle part, which will be a box. After automatic aligning, I want to cut the wedges, there will be two wedges um, mirrored basically from each side because they will be under the angle. Mm, I have to move the object because I set two millimeter snap grid and then I'm creating the other side after combination the wedges are subtracted from the object and now I have to cut that hole on the top of this object and it's ready now. This is the front view, I did those hidden lines here. This is view from the right side and this is view from the left side. And this is the top view. Here we can see this, this surface under the angle from the top view. Uh, this is the biggest object from this series. I think it was 2 hours and 15 minutes the printing time for it. And this is the rotating view of the final object. Next object I am starting with the wedge. I have to add a cube. And only I have to create a hole inside this cube. This will be a cylinder hole shape, which I have to move to the middle of this cube. Only I have to change the view to the flat view. And uh, I will change the color because it's easier to view what, how it looks like. And this is the front view, view from the right side. Here I added those hidden lines. This is view from the left side and this is the top view. Uh, this was 3D printed in vertical position because, that, because of the hole inside. And after printing, this is how it looks like. Next object, this will be a homework for my students. Basically very simple object, uh, only from the box I have to subtract uh, two objects. One is the box and the other will be the wedge from the back side, on the top of the back side. After rotating and automatic aligning combination and it is ready. Changing the view, this is the front view, I added those hidden lines too. This is view from the right side. This is view from the left side. And this is the top view, I added those hidden lines here too. And this is view from the bottom. I 3D printed this in vertical position, so I don't want to use the supports. And here we get the final object.
Last object in this series, I also started with the box. I subtracted another box from it and on the top I subtracted the wedge. I use the automatic aligning tool here and the last step is to create that hole. And we are finished with this object too. I'm moving in the middle so it's easier to rotate it. So this is the front view. This is view from the left side. This is the view from the right side. And this is the top view, but I didn't add those hidden lines here this time. And this was also printed in rotated position because of that hole, so I don't have to use the supports. And here we get the final object, last one in this series. So that would be it. I hope you find this video useful and I will have three more videos, I think. I hope I will meet you there too. Thank you for watching. Bye.